Hello and welcome to Excel Dashboard Templates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at Excel Dashboard Templates.com so you're sure to get the latest posts, tips, tricks, and techniques. Learn everything about Excel. All right, finishing up our uh, step chart challenge. Here's an example of a step chart where rates stay the same and uh, then they do change, but they may not change uh, at an even curve like Excel would like to draw. Uh, and uh, so the challenge was is how do we get this normal table data um, for the rate changes into something that would Excel would graph. Now to do that you need um, the first date in your data point to have its rate but then the second date in to have the same rate so thus those equal each other and then another data point where that uh, date has its own data point so you can see this one matches that one and then it has its own over here on the left. Now uh, I came up with a formula using small function and Pete uh, had a, another one also that he came up with that was an array formula and I just wanted to uh, take a couple minutes and show you how that worked. Uh, and so if you're not familiar with array formulas, you need you uh, something you need to learn. I certainly uh, have my problems with them, but it is uh, a great technique. Now what an array does is right over here for this, it's going to return all of the row values for the table 13 date function um, date column. So in this instance, it's going to return, you'll notice B3 is uh, the table with, oh, I'm sorry, A3 is the um, row. So it would be three is the row, and then it goes all the way down to 343. So this should return an array or a bunch of different numbers separated by commas. Uh, that is three through 343. He's then going to um, start that back down to zero. So he's got some, uh, uh, some numbers that he has in here to just level set that instead of starting at three or wherever you happen to be uh, to actually start that back at a, a counter level that he wants. Um, and uh, He's using the index formula here with a combination of match. I find it to, to be a very sophisticated VLOOKUP, um, and you should really go to my blog and check out some posts I've done on index and match to find out how you can use it. Now, index has um, a table, this table of date. Uh, it is going to return a value from that column, so basically from column A. It's going to return a date. This is what you're looking for. This is the range of data. Now within that range of data, you want to return a row, as you can see here, but you'll notice that there is no column. Um, if I hit comma in here, then this is where the column would be, uh, but it's not necessary to enter that. Now since this is an array formula, because we're returning a whole string of arrays of this date to enter this formula to get those curly brackets that you see over here, uh, you when you enter your formula, you hit control, shift, enter, and that makes it an array formula and Excel knows how to then treat it. Uh, let's take a look at the match for formula that he's got in here. Um, mine had a counter of very similar to this where I was truncating a row value um, and then uh, what that uh, and then uh, divided by two and what that does is it uh, allows it to uh, m copy this rate down once and then um, copy it twice without it just having it to do once. So we're using this as a little bit of a sophisticated way to uh, fake Excel to say uh, return um, the the rate here or the date once and then return it a second time and then go back up and find the next value and copy it down twice and so he's using the integer very similar to mine when I was truncating it um, it's saying convert whatever number you get here of the current row divided by two uh, and then add one to that so in this case, it's going to be um, a half divided, or one divided by two, which is a half. Adding one is one and a half, making that an integer lops off the half, and it goes back to a uh, uh, number one. And so what we're ultimately going to do is return or um, find the first row in the row numbers that we have for the table uh, of date. And so this um, returns a 1 through 343, and we're going to find the first value in that. So uh, once you have your array formula done, you can actually just copy it down, and you'll see it starting to do it. So there's 1948 twice, there's 1950 twice, 1951 twice, and so on. Let's take a look at his rate formula. Um, it's doing something very similar. Uh, he is doing a compare here to say, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the values that we have and um, if they're not matching then you know what I need to copy that same rate that I already see up above um, if not I need to actually go find using index and match again uh, the 
rate for this current date. So 1947 here should be 1.75, 1948 should be 2. So uh, he's using that function there as well. Now, once you have all of these, you can copy these down. And uh, as soon as my computer catches up with me, you'll see them. There we are. So we've got 1947 with its rate, 1948 with the same rate as 1947, and then 1948 with its rate, as you can see here. Uh, and then this is how we can create our chart. Now, um, we have to continue to copy these cells down uh, until we ultimately get down to um, seeing error symbols. Let's see. Uh, as soon as my computer catches up once again with me, we should start to see pound NA or pound num. Uh, it's going through and doing the arrays. There they are. Um, so it got down to its final dates, and we can just delete these pound NAs, and then we can go up and highlight our chart. Uh, we'll go up to insert a line chart and do a line chart here, and lo and behold, um, we will have our uh, final step chart created via formulas using arrays. So uh, lots of different ways that you can create step chart uh, data. Uh, we saw a great one from Don where he actually just copied the data down uh, and then shifted um, two different cells in uh, the dates and the rates and it, to create his chart. Um, mine using the small function and then Pete also uh, um, using the index and match function. I also had a Leonid submitted a very similar one with index and match so uh, thank you very much for that. This is a great way you really do need to learn your formulas, learn how to do your lookups, uh, and then figure out how to do some different step counters so that uh, sometimes you want to return uh, multiple values um, but then not have it match up exactly with what you have over on the left. Hopefully this has been helpful in helping you build your charts uh, for your Excel dashboard templates. Uh, once again, please uh, subscribe to my video channel and also head on over to exceldashboardtemplates.com where you're sure to get other great tutorials. Thank you.